Well, it seems like a case of as the elections map turns. Uh, the soap opera that is the elections map situation here in the state of North Carolina has another major scramble just hours before candidates are supposed to begin filing to run. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. The broken record, right? Over and over again. I'm Angela Taylor. Today, a court threw out the revised congressional districts Republicans approved and redrew a new map that would benefit, benefit rather Democrats. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh. Michael, this fight is not over yet. Mm. No, just in the last hour, several appeals got filed with the state Supreme Court so they could order further changes that will affect who gets into these races and who gets out. Thank you. A court decision Wednesday could lead to a shakeup as election season starts. Three judges in Wake County rejected the changes Republicans made last week to the state's 14 congressional districts, saying they still didn't meet the court's standards. Using a team of outside experts, the court redrew the map in a way that would benefit Democrats. I think Democrats have to be extraordinarily happy with um, some safe seats and some co competitive seats uh, that could produce some wins. The website Dave's Redistricting app says based on recent voting history, the congressional map likely has seven Republican seats, six Democratic seats, and one toss-up. Democrats would gain a seat in Charlotte, and the competitive district would include part of Wake County. Unlike in previous versions Republicans approved, Democrat Kathy Manning, who represents the triad, would have an easier time holding on to her seat. Republican Madison Cawthorn likely would run in the westernmost district instead of trying to run closer to Charlotte like he'd planned. This is the kind of brass knuckle hardball politics that we're seeing play out in real time. The court upheld changes Republicans made to districts for the General Assembly. Democrats still had concerns, though, about the state Senate map, with Governor Roy Cooper calling it the worst of the bunch. People involved in the case had only a few hours Wednesday to decide whether to appeal. The new congressional map can only be used for this year's election and then will have to be redrawn again. We're waiting to hear what the state Supreme Court will do about all of these appeals that were filed this evening. But as of now, candidates are scheduled to start filing to run for office tomorrow morning at 8. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.